Arsenal have been praised for creating a fantastic atmosphere at their home ground, the Emirates Stadium, which has been compared to Liverpool's famous Anfield by former Gunners captain Cesc Fabregas and legend David O'Leary. Fabregas, who retired from playing over the summer and is now coaching in Italy, told Premier League Productions that he has been visiting Arsenal's training ground regularly while completing his coaching badges. He said he was impressed by the players' passion and desire to win the Premier League title which they have not done since 2004, he said, I know how much they want to win the Premier League, I have been at the training ground recently, and I know that they are waiting, I can smell it, they working towards that moment in a very passionate way, Fabregas also said that he could feel the energy and positivity from the fans, who have helped the team achieve some impressive results this season, he said that the introduction of Lewis Dunford's song, the Angel, which is played before every home game, has added a warm touch to the matchday experience, he said. For all the years going to Enfield, there was nothing better than going beforehand to hear the song. When the players came out that's been created now at Arsenal. O'Leary, who spent 18 years at Arsenal as a player and is now a club ambassador, echoed Fabrega's sentiments after witnessing Arsenal's 1-0 win over Manchester City last weekend. He told The Telegraph that he had never seen a better atmosphere at the Emirates Stadium and that it felt like a concert at the end, he said, I have never, since I have been at the club, seen a better atmosphere, yes, it was a fluky goal, but it was the first time in a while against Manchester City, that I felt confident of getting a victory, the goal came at the right time and was the icing on the cake, it was like a concert atmosphere at the end, Arsenal are currently third in the Premier League table, and have won six of their eight games so far, they will face Chelsea in their next game after the international break.